Welcome back to Overtime here on The Blitz. It's quarter number five, still time to talk football. West Texas A&M Buffaloes are on the road this weekend at Tarleton State on the heels of back-to-back -back wins. WT back in the national poll at number 20. They spanked the Texans by 31 last season, but TSU is coming off its first win of the season in four games. Well, talent-wise, they're just uh, really, uh, really talented at every position. They usually are. I think uh, what they're doing right now is they got Lee Hayes in there. Uh, they've got a unique offense, uh, you know, in terms of them and what they're used to doing. It's something different. It's exciting. Uh, they're uh, they're making a lot of uh, progress with it. They've scored a lot of points. Uh, they had Abilene Christian on the ropes. Uh, Texas State, who uh, beat uh, Stephen F. Uh, this last week, very good football team, uh, had a chance to beat them. So they've been in every ball game. Uh, got a lot of confidence, and when you throw uh, confidence and uh, great athletes out there at the same time, that's a pretty uh, good combination. Eastern WT at Tarleton, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Eastern goes to Angelo. In the Big 12, Texas Tech is at Kansas. That's on FSN 11 a.m. Two games here. We have Baylor, Kansas State tomorrow afternoon here on Channel 7. And tomorrow night we have Nebraska and we have Wisconsin. All right, now we go to Arlington and the baseball playoffs. The Rangers opening the playoffs. Look at this. That's a six-year-old Cooper Stone throwing out the first pitch. Of course, his dad Shannon died earlier this year. Falling over the rain at a Rangers game. He threw the ball to Josh Hamilton, his favorite player. Who, uh, Hamilton got hugs from Cooper and his mom. Pretty emotional stuff. Uh, as for the game itself, wasn't anything good for the Rangers. Smile out, ran off for the Rangers. Johnny Damon takes C.J. Wilson deep. That's a two-run ding-dong, and the Rays are off and running. Two men on for Fort Worth native Kelly Shoppick. It's high, it's hard, it's handsome, it's history. It's a three-run homer, 6 nothing Rays. Great trivia note, Kelly Shoppick spent his 11th birthday at Nolan Ryan at the night Nolan Ryan threw his last no-hitter for the Texas Rangers. That's Shoppick with another home run. He has to go to the scoreboard because that's ugly. It uh, was, I forgot to put the final in, 9 nothing. The Rangers lose. They'll play tomorrow. We can also tell you Detroit, it was raining in New York tonight. Detroit and the Yankees. Uh, that game got suspended. They'll pick it up tomorrow. All right, let's wrap up tonight's sports quickly. Uh, the Terry Francona era is over in Boston. The Red Sox will not pick up his option on the contract. He managed the Sox to a pair of world titles in eight seasons, but that September meltdown cost him his job. But Sex a volleyball team won its opening two matches at the big South Central Regional Crossover event in Pittsburgh, Kansas. WT swept Pitt State and... St. Edward's tomorrow, WT will host a couple of matches, including a showdown with Central Missouri. The two teams eliminate each other in the last two NCAA tournaments. The WT soccer team's on the road. The Booten Buffs picked up win number one of the season, beating St. Ed's. The Lady Booten Buffs played a draw 1-1 with San Angelo State, or Angelo State. And the Amarillo Bulls are in New Mexico right now, and they lead the Mustangs by the score of 2-1. They're about to go to the third period. This reminder, they have their home opener tomorrow night at Cal Farley Coliseum. There'll be a banner raising coming off that uh, championship they won last year in the North American Hockey League. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of The Blitz. As always, we thank you for watching. Have a great sports weekend. Thanks for tuning in to The Blitz on Pro News 7. Brought to you by these sponsors. Head to connect to Amarillo.com for highlights, extended coverage, and scores. And watch for updates on Pro News 7 through midnight tonight.